Yes, he is. VTR 3224, episode 3859, part one, take one. So fiddly, these things. Mm -hmm. These bulbs. You only need one loose one and they won't light up. Yeah, well, we'll leave you to it, Doris. Come on, darling. We'd better get a move on, otherwise we're going to be late in court. Court? Oh, I think we'd better explain that. What? Otherwise she'll think we're heading for trouble. <laughs> you remember that boy I told you about? Boy? Yeah, the one who, who broke into the house. The burglar? Oh, yeah. Well, his case comes up this morning. Actually, yes, Doris had a similar experience. Oh, it's all the rage. Darling, I'm being serious. You had a break in too? Well, not quite, no. It was when I was at Stone Bank. There was this boy and he sort of stepped out of line. He wanted to make amends, so I had him working for me. I thought this scheme was supposed to be a new idea. Oh, it wasn't official or anything. I mean, they didn't go to court. Why not? Well, we just worked it out among ourselves. <laughs> you ladies really do take it on upon yourselves, don't you? I mean, it's one hell of a risk. Well, it struck me as a good boy at heart. Yes, but Doris, what if he wasn't? Yes, well, he was all right, and we're going to be all right, too. Yes, always assuming the magistrates agree to let him try. Well, come on, we'd better go and find out. <laughs> Bye, Doris. Cheerio. <laughs> Hope things work out the way you want. Thanks. Oh, Eureka! <laughs> Take that as a good omen. <laughs> <laughs> Banging about. Let's try and get this down out of the hole. Oh, be careful. Did you find me sure? Oh, well, these locks all jammed. I'll tell you one thing, though. If rain gets in that loft. This is rusty. Yeah, well, just don't make a mess, Kevin. Honestly, I sent you up for my christening, Sean, not to come down with half the rubbish out the loft. Mum said it was in her paper bag, I think, where the toys were, where she found Amber. Yeah, well, I'm more interested in this. Well, it's just a tatty old case, isn't it? A lot of them went up there when we moved. No, it's not just any old case, Glenn. This is some sort of service issue. Yeah, but did you find this shawl, Kevin? <sighs> I want to wash it so I can have a wrap in it for the first oh, photo. Oh, doubt. I can't get through that hole. I'm not having Mum messing about up there again. Give it a rest, Glenn. Look at this. What is it? Just look at your dad's. Old shirts, paperbacks, straight out the ark and all. Oh, never know when it might come in handy. That was his motto. <sighs> some sort of legacy, this. <laughs> RAF Paybook, Corporal A. H. Brownlow. Corporal? According to him, when he had a few drinks, he ran the outfit. <laughs> so what else is there? Hey, look, a picture of Mum. Got one of the girls at Blanchard's, I think it is, to take this. Hope it'll do. Love, Kathleen. Kiss, kiss, kiss. But she looked young. Well, she was once, you know. Yeah, it's hard to imagine, isn't it? Well, oh, hope. That different. I mean, look at the hairdo. Uh, look at the gear and all. Better sexy as Cardi, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Passion killer cat, the terror of the barracks. <laughs> hey, what else is there, Dad? Hey, fancy keeping all this rubbish. Up. Well, that's a bit faded. Written in ink and all. It's a novelty these days. And what's it say? It's addressed to your mum. It's Kathleen Mitchell from Corporate A.H. Brownlow. Hey, there's a love letter. It's sealed. Well, she must have read it. No, I shouldn't think so. It, um, it says to be delivered in the event of my death. Oh, you're joking. Oh, I've gone all cold. Kevin, put it back in the loft, eh, quickly. Do you think she knew it was there? Oh, I shouldn't think so. I should have read it. No, put it back in. It's eerie. Anyway, Mum will be back in a minute. Oh, she ought to see it. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be an awful shock reading that after all this time, isn't it? Might upset her. Mm. Put it away, then. Oh, Paul. We'll be ready for your party in about five minutes, Miss Sally, all right? Five okay, minutes. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, Miss Luke, uh, is there a chance of you helping us out in the restaurant, please? Oh, Mrs. Chance asked me to do the sitting room. I'll have a word with her. I'm sure it's not that important. We're rushed to our feet with all these Christmas parties going. I don't suppose there's a remote chance of soliciting your help as well, Mrs. Oh, Sebram. Well, there's a bit of a snag, you see. 
I see you're too busy in your own department. No, it's more serious than that. It's my afternoon off. Uh -huh. And I need every moment of it, believe me, to do all the things to organise I've got to do. That reminds me, ladies, I am in charge of organising the entertainment for our party, the ball. So what can I put you two down for? Well, I think the striptease is out for the start. But <laughs> well, there must be a little something. Oh, I don't think so. Well, volunteers are very difficult to find. I'm sure the two of you charming young ladies could get together and offer us a little something. Together? Duet? Oh, no. Dramatic duo? Well, I suppose. Oh, Kath, no. Yes, oh, stick yes. our names down. Go on, we'll figure yeah. something. Oh, no, listen, I couldn't. Yes, you could, Miss Luke, but you'll never know unless you try. Hmm? Oh, some people like that sort of thing. Look, if everybody took want. this attitude, there would be no entertainment. It's just a question of rallying around and everybody doing their bit. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> Bring right. rabbits out of your tail, Cole. <laughs> I see you've got just the voice for singing them French songs, you know, Je Tendré. Oh, I used to <laughs> love that. That brings back memories. Uh, there's no chance of that. <laughs> oh, you could always do an Apache dance and chuck Diane all around the restaurant. That'd be good for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, not so good for Diane, though. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? The organisation, dear lady. Isn't that enough? Oh, Kat, what have we let ourselves in for? I should can can these days, Doris. <laughs> well, I should think we're all glad that's over. Yeah. You know, you were lucky you had Mr. Miles. Why? Because he did a very persuasive job, Gary, that's why. Bet your mum was delighted. Yeah, she don't know yet. No, she was there. Mum? No. No, I, I tell you, I saw her. Get on. Yes, standing at the back. Well, that's her all over, that is. I told her this morning I didn't want her there. Why not? Well, she gets upset, doesn't she? I didn't want that. Trust her to sneak in. Well, she obviously cares very much. Yeah. Well, what was it you wanted, exactly? Uh, to organise your work. Uh, darling, um, I thought we agreed that Gary wasn't going to start work till after Christmas. Yes, 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 yes. But it has occurred to me that the shops will be closed over the holiday, Jill. That could go into the new year, sir. Not all of them. Well, I can't see builders' yards doing much business in the next ten days. So, Gary, if you'd like to go into the garden, measure the gap in the fence, see how much timber we'll need, and I'll get one of the lads to pick it up from the motel. Lads? Yeah. Kevin Banks will do it. Then we'll get it tray. OK? Yeah, sure. Cracking the whip a bit early, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. Now, Jill, a thought has occurred to me. This business about him working indoors when the weather's bad. Yeah, what about it? Well, he won't be able to get in or out. Well, he will if I give him a key. What, you intend giving him one? Of course I do. Oh. I mean, look, we've got to build up his trust. I mean, anyway, do you expect me to sit here and, and keep an eye on every move he makes? I'd be a darn sight happier if you did. Look, half this exercise is to foster a sense of responsibility towards us, and, well, we're not going to do that by monitoring every move that he makes. Oh. Anyway, I thought we agreed when Mr. Miles was here that when the weather was bad, he was going to work indoors. Yes, but I had no idea that you intended to keep him here on his own. Ah, oh, if it's what you want. Shh. Ah, uh, 27 foot, 3 by 1. That's what I'll make it. Yes, well, we'll call it 30 foot, be on the safe side. Oh, suit yourself. You got creosote, have you? Uh, do No, we? I don't think so. Well, it might be an idea. And some nails and that. I'll bring my own tools. Oh, that'll be splendid. About working indoors. How are we going to fix all that? Oh, Mrs Chance is the ideas, lady. I'll make a list and, um, well, I'll, I'll leave it just here. How do I get in? Oh, I'll find you a spare key. Oh. Yeah, OK. And then you'll be able to make a cup of coffee if you want to. The milk's in the fridge and the sugar's in the cupboard over there. Ta. Any time. Right, well, I'm off to work then. I'll speak to Kevin Banks, see if he can drop the timber over here, then it's all ready and waiting for you, Gary. Bye, my darling. See you later. Bye. Oh, do you want to um, phone your mum? What for? Well, she must be dying to hear from you. Oh, I can wait till I get home, can't it? Gary, I mean, you wouldn't let your mum down, would you? How do you mean? Well, you will do this job well. Of course. And see it through to the end, properly. I told them, didn't I, the magistrates? Yes. Well, didn't you believe me then? <laughs> yes, of course I did. It's been a kind of battle, hasn't it? Between you and him. 
Well, I want you to be the winner. VT3224, episode 3859, part two, take one. Kettle's on. All right, I'll shove this back. Mm, least said, soonest mended, eh? Mm. Kevin, I thought you said you'd put this away. I think you should see it. And I think you should put it away. Now, come on. How are you two? Oh, what's all this? Oh, did you know I'm froze. I waited 20 minutes for a bus. Arthur's old RAF case. I've meant to chop that out. What's that? Oh, Kevin's just going to put it away, Mum. We were looking for my christening shawl. I told you it's with the toys. Is that a second booth? It's addressed to you. Kevin? It's from Dad. You what? We, uh, we found it inside a book in the case. Arthur? I told you to put it away. Let me see. It's unopened. I said you wouldn't want to see it, well, Mum. Look, if, it, if it's addressed to me, let me see it, please. By the time you receive this, I'll be dead. Squadron's embarking in five hours. Who knows where? Most of the lads are writing to nothing. Last time, letters. Just wanted to say how much I loved you, lass. And if things worked out different, we'd have had what we planned. Married in St. Paul's, nice house, couple of kids I could spoil rotten with all the things that I never had. Don't waste any tears, look. Because I'll always be right there at your side. I couldn't bear not being able to reach and touch you. Find someone else. Remember what we had, Kath. You're a beautiful woman. And I count myself lucky to have loved you at all. I'll keep your picture on me always, lass. Take good care. Love you forever. Arthur. Ah, are you leaving? Yes, I was, actually. Look, Sharon, I've been trying to get to you for days. We've got to have a serious talk. Oh, any other time. Lovely. Why the hell didn't you tell me that you were applying for this house parent job? Well, it didn't seem necessary. I might not get it. Yes, but if you leave without giving sufficient notice, it doesn't give me time to find the right person to replace you. I'll work out a notice. Yeah, how much notice and whose convenience? I wish I was as sure as you are that I'm going to get it. Look, it doesn't matter to me whether you do or whether you don't. But you are applying without consulting me. Well, I just told you. It really didn't seem necessary. I don't know what my chances are. Look, um, sack me, if you like. I beg your pardon? Just sack me. And where would you go? Now this group home is so far in the future. Won't stay out of work for long. Because I'm quite good. Well, I won't sack you for the moment, though. Thank you. Now, do you think I could carry on? You sounded as though you wanted me to sack you. Not if we understand each other. <sighs> you may understand me, Miss Metcalf, but I certainly don't understand you. Flipping heck. What's up? This. Oh, you're never going to get all that on. Well, I can see that. You'll have to put Merry Xmas instead of Christmas. I don't like Xmas. The word is Christmas. Well, everybody puts Merry Xmas. Well, I don't. Oh, we'll use this back yes, both take are. it all off. Too. I mean, the Merry's all right. They can't have it a different size to the Christmas. It'd look funny. Mm, getting proper fussy, aren't we? Well, I'm practising. Hey. For my christening cake. Oh, I thought there was something. <laughs> How's that? Mm. Ask them if they're any good at icing. <laughs> <gasps> oh, 
Hello, Auntie Kat. Oh, well, I never. Oh, that's a life for a start. Oh. What is it, Mum? You'll never guess! Oh, do you uh, want me to help you with them? Is that her? Yeah, it's a doll's house. What's in that one? Well, that's a piano. Well, just a little one. You know, she'd love to bang away on anything noisy. It'll drive her mother mad. My revenge. You yeah. are? Just a joke. It's not that noisy. Alison told you, did she? Yeah, she told me yesterday. That, that's why I thought you'd better take this with you together. Oh, Benny. Nina's mum didn't say anything about you not seeing her anymore. Yeah, but you know Nina. All she'll keep doing is saying, where's Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> OK, love. Let me load you up. Can I just finish wrapping this little one? Yeah. Uh, Sid was saying that you're coming to our Christmas dinner. Yes. Very nice of Mavis to think of me. I really wouldn't mind it being on my own. Don't you dare tell Sid that. But when you say that, someone either invites you around to their place or feels sorry for you. Or both. Yeah. Next year, I'm going to my sister's in East Anglia. Oh, I didn't know you had a sister there. I don't. It's all right, then, is it, if I stay? Of course it is. Don't you go opening them prezzies till Christmas Day. Do you hear me? No, you shouldn't, you know. Of course I should. Family's family, isn't it? Yes, yeah, lovely to have you with us for the holiday. I'll just go and pour the tea. How's it going? The icing, OK? Doddle, but don't you look till I've finished. It puts me off. How are you keeping, then, with your little bundle? Oh, little, she says. <laughs> wouldn't it be lovely if it was born on Christmas Day, eh? Bit early. Oh, I'd like that, baby for Christmas. Be the best present I ever had. Here, yeah, Ron's not coming home, is he? No. Hmm, pity. He's working, I think. Trust him. <sighs> there, Glenn. What do you think of that? Hi, Rhys. Well, what's up? Well, I did say Merry Christmas. Well, that's what I've put, in it? Everybody. Right. Now, do you want to come and have a car? Yeah. Come on over the top, then. Come on. <laughs> Climb over the top. <laughs> Make, <this go. coughs> Make this go. You sit here. This is there. What? You. Who's this? <laughs> Who's I thought you were going to be earlier. That no. doesn't matter. I can see you had a good time. Who's that? Right. Come on, should we go and show you a present? Oh, yes. You've got lovely presents. Oh, let's see them. Under my seatbelt. There we go. All right, come on, then. No. Oops, let's get your presents. Come on, let's get your presents. Come on. Nina, let's right, see your let's swag. Let's see where the presents are. Shut. Jump. There we go. Right, in the boot. What have we got in the boot? What have we got in the boot? Boom! Oh. There's a couple of little ones. Ooh. Right? Yes. And the doll's house is from <gasps> Benny. Oh, that's it? wonderful. And I'm afraid I had to open the piano. Not yours. I know it's not, but I had to see your face, oh, didn't my. I? Give us a tune. Look, why don't you come in? Uh, yours. I'd love to, but I really think I should go, if you don't mind. OK? I've got to go now, sugar. Right? Oh, Kiss Sharon oh, goodbye. Oh, that one. Go now. Oh, yes. Right, mind your fingers. Mind your fingers. There we go. That's it. Fingers out the way. Thank you. Kiss Sharon goodbye okay. now. Say goodbye to me, please. Come on, you're going to have tea Thank with you Mummy very much. now. See you again. Are you going? I'm going, all right? No, I'm going. I'll see you again. Don't worry. Right, shall I get in the car and drive away? I'll get in the car. Oh, I will see you again, sugar. We will. Promise. Okay. Let's go. You're all right, you're going to have tea with your Mummy. Hello, Mummy.
Come with mommy. 